Greetings! Quick video this time. Really, just some design thoughts, yet again on the intersection of theme and mechanics. Though I am admittedly late to the party, but regardless I figured I'd share these thoughts here on the channel and get your opinion on the matter. Lately I've been playing around with my Space Marine chapter, The Firekeepers. And as I do, I often get inquiries and comments of surprise that I am choosing to field a Space Marine list absent of scouts. The reason for such inquiries is because scout squads are the best side quest action monkeys available to Space Marines. This is because they have the universal abilities Infiltrate and Scout, allowing them to deploy out of their deployment zone and move before the game begins. And their unique ability, Guerrilla Tactics, lets them enter strategic reserves at the end of the enemy turn, perfectly timed to return in your movement phase after drawing a desirable side quest. They are sort of stacked for secondary mission purposes, and so they are a very popular choice for serious competitive play. Which I find annoying. And look, this is primarily because units with ill-fit rules are undesirable. An agreeable enough statement. But when those rules serve the competitive base and are in turn popularized, those rules become a more significant topic to draw attention to. Reasonably so. Though in this case, the rules scouts benefit from, as we've reviewed, aren't ineffectual or necessarily unthematic. Guerrilla Tactics can indeed be framed as a thematic rule for a Space Marine Scout Squad. However, here's the but. I believe a case can be made that these rules for Scouts yield an unthematic end result in their implementation. And look, I get it. People want their Scouts to be cool. And I get it. Even a Neophyte Astartes shouldn't be a low-quality unit. That is to say, they shouldn't be bad or unvaluable. But by that same token, should they be the premier versatile secondary side quest utility masters that they are? Rather, I think that role would be much better suited for expert specialists like incursors instead of rookies like scouts. Incursors being a unit typically tasked with storming defended positions, flanking and spearheading advances to rapidly knock out key enemy assets, like power generators and comms a unit decked out in mobile Phobos armor, a unit equipped with loads of telemetry sensors, a unit without special or heavy weapon options. And if they had that kind of guerrilla tactics ability, it could make the combat support ability from the Invictor Warsuit more interesting, or at the very least, opens up a more interesting design space for an admittedly circumstantial ability. It's for those reasons I think the Incursors really ought to have been the side quest secondary specialist unit for the Space Marines army. But the Scout Squad did get a new model kit this edition, so perhaps they are better suited for such a desirable role in GW's eyes. Who could possibly say for sure? But beyond the side quest secondary utility, there is another awkward area the Scout Squad operates within which is the scouting or forward-deploying pregame. The structure of the game sees scouting or forward-deploying units serving to deny aggressive armies from claiming a hold of the battlefield or your deployment zone too early. But Space Marine scouts shouldn't be tossed out during deployment to roadblock a berserker stampede. They aren't low-value cultists or conscripts. They are the young rookies, the literal future of the chapter. And so it's reasonable to conclude it ought to be a terrible tragedy for a Space Marine Scout to meet an untimely end. Especially so considering the failure rates associated with even being able to start the Space Marine Apotheosis process. And that's why using them as sacrificial roadblocks or the highest point scoring unit in an army is narratively jarring in equal measure. Really, Scout Squads excel in tighter scale circumstances like Kill Team, or in standard 40k. I think they would be better served in a role that allows them to still forward deploy, as they are scouts. Though perhaps their ability could see them sticky objectives, relating to them being there ahead of time, or offer some nominal buff for your army against the enemy unit which destroys them. Something like a reroll hit rolls of one. And those are my thoughts on scouts. That's a wrap on my thoughts on scouts. But tell me. What do you think? 
If you enjoyed this video, there are buttons for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And a special thanks to Julius Maximus, as well as my other generous patrons and channel members. Channel members and patrons get early access to videos. Just a little something for those who help keep the dream alive. Anyways, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.